Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And it's Sunday, December 13th. It's 11 a.m. Thank you for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit something different. We're going to step outside the box a little bit. Do you have people in your family that are preppers, survivalists, campers, hikers, whatever it may be, do you know which they may want for Christmas? That's the question. So I'm going to give you some great ideas that if you shop now, you probably could get. And you can try to, you know, make somebody's day, give them something that they really would like, help them out getting started. If you know somebody that's just getting started doing that kind of stuff, relatively inexpensive things. There are a few, a couple of expensive, but relatively very inexpensive and very easy to go right on to Amazon and order and have it delivered to your house by Christmas Day if you act now. So let's get going. First off, I hope everybody has your coffee as normal on Sunday morning. <music> wide awake and ready to see some really cool gear and stuff and different things it's not all gear that you probably could help purchase and put under the Christmas tree or even in somebody's stocking for that magical Christmas morning so for further ado let's get rolling we can start off <clears throat> we're gonna start off right in the front this right here is just basically a little foam pad all right now this little foam pad is a pretty cool thing all right this is made for your your camper your hiker uh, anybody like that <clears throat> you know you, everybody always sits on a log or something or if you're sitting on the ground this is to what you need to set on keeps you dry and keeps you pretty much warm so the cold air can't come up through if you get what I'm saying so that's something that you could really go on and look at all right it's called an Ace Camp. Get them right on Amazon. And it's just a folding little pad. Next up, one of my favorite things, and I've done videos on these and I love them. All right, hammock. Sunyear makes a hammock. Nice, portable, compact, lightweight. Would be great for your camper, hiker, survivalist, any of that type of stuff. A hammock is a way to go. You can put up a sleep system just about anywhere you go. Moving on down the line. Gold armor. All right. Now this here is a tarp system that is designed to go with a hammock system. Okay. There's many different ways that you can set this up. It comes with everything that you need in here. Uh, stakes, the whole nine yards, all the, uh, the rope and the cordage and everything is all in this little compact bag. And this is made by Gold Armor. Next thing is, when you put it up your hammock, you want to make sure that you have a some type of a sleep system. Now, this isn't for like real cold weather. I don't have like an under uh, quilt or anything like that. But this here is Ecotech Outdoors. All right, it's a hybrid beam season, ultra light sleeping pad, and you can blow this up. One, two, three few puffs and it blows right up and then it pulls right back down into this compact little pad weighs less than a few ounces and it has something that you can sleep on you put it right inside your hammock all right this here is a pillow all right <clears throat> now this is made by a bullet and you basically just pull this thing right out it conforms right to a regular size pillow that fits inside a hammock this stuff is all made for a hammock so that would be something good to go right along with that. Moving on down the line. You can always get these like little stocking stuffers, you know. Um, these are just like headbands. But they can be used for so many different things. You know, filtering water, doing all different types of stuff. And you can pick up headbands online on Amazon. And they're next to Nuxton. And usually they come um, three to six to a pouch. So you're getting a pretty good deal with those. 
Moving on down the line, you want to go a little bit bigger, you could get a portable Coleman stove. All right. You can take and open this up. This will work on any type of a gas range as far as if you had a gas range in your home. Or it also works on your Coleman stoves and that type of stuff. It sets right on there, folds right up, does have the temperature guide and everything else. And you're ready to go. And you have an oven where you can bake and cook in and everything else right on your stove. A portable cook system. Average, camper, hiker, survivalist, whatever else. This is Mallow and Me. It's a camping cookware and mess kit. Comes with everything that you need in here. Even has utensils and everything else. And it all fits right down into this tiny little pack right here. Very lightweight. So if you have a lightweight hiker in your family or that's just getting started, some of the lightweight stuff is a really good way to go. Moving on down the line. Gloves. Buy somebody some good pair of gloves if they're going to be out in the woods and doing stuff because even if it's warm out, it's always nice to have a good pair of gloves if you're cutting, if you're gathering wood, building fires, all that kind of different things. A pair of gloves goes a long way. Now, let's move into a couple of knives. I got three of my favorite. You can go right online, Amazon. You can get all these right on there. This is the Mossy Oak. This is the big boy. You could use this, uh, this knife because it's so thick. I don't know if you can see that. This knife would be really good for um, any type of, if you had to split some wood or anything like that. That is a very good knife to have. <clears throat> My Moa knife, you can't say enough about Moas. All right, they're very inexpensive and they're just a great, great knife. They do come with the sheath, comes with the belt loop, comes with the fire starter, and comes with a sharpener right on the side and you can pick these up for like 30 bucks now the last knife in this list it's a Opinel it's made by the French and you just open it right up it's a great little tight pocket knife and everything else the beauty of this knife and when you buy this knife unlike any other knives is when it comes to you it is extremely sharp and you can pick these things up for like 10 15 bucks on Amazon Great stocking stuffer. All right, SOG. I like SOG products. I mean, especially for the beginners, you can get the hatchet set. I did notice that they had this little cool set on there where you got the hatchet and a couple of other things on there. And I think it was less than uh, $40. So that's really not a bad deal, you know? But for somebody starting out, lightweight, very lightweight. And this can go right on the outside of your pack. I've showed that on some of my videos when I talk about my packs. Um, Goes right on there, and you're good to go. You have a hatchet. Folding saw. All right, this here is a folding band saw, you know, and you can't go wrong with these things. These also fit right on here. If you have a mold pack, this will slide right down inside your mold pack, and you have a folding saw whenever you need it. You don't have to carry around one that's already, you know, Put together anything else like you would buy in your hardware stores and everything. This is nice and compact. If you have enough big enough bag, it'll fit inside. But like I said, if you have a mold pack, this will fit right on the outside, right through the little straps. I've demonstrated that on some of my videos. Now, you could get another stocking stuffer. This here is a Radio Wow. All right. It charges on USB. All right. So if you have some way to charge with USB, if you have some type of solar or anything like that, this is a great radio to have, all right? It comes with your FM, AM, shortwave, long wave, air. The speaker's a five watt. It's a DC, it's a five volt. Uh, it does come with a earphone jack, so you can put that in there, and you can put this like in the top of your pack or something, so you could be listening to information and everything else. And it's very, very small, compact, and very lightweight. So this would be something really good for a stocking stuffer. Keep it along the lines of information. You could uh, pick up a Bofang radio for your loved one, either a man or a woman. Everybody out there, there's a lot of people that like to camp, hike, anything like that. If you need information, a Bofang would be really good. I would suggest buying the extended antenna, which is very cheap. You probably could get the radio with the extended antenna for under $50. Comes with the charging kit 
and it does come with the charging kit for solar power if you do have solar power. All right, so that'd be a good communication, two-way communication. Any type of two-way communication, there's tons of them out there. These just happen to be Motorola. They do have a 10 mile range on them. Um, I've had these for probably 20 years and they still work just fine. So I have found no need to buy anything new because these are still working really, really good. So I like the Motorola brand. They are uh, phenomenal. We have used these several times on several different trips and it's really nice because you can stay in contact even if you're on like separate trails or somebody's at a base camp and you're out somewhere else, you still have communication. And they'd be great stocking stuffers. They're small and compact. Now, something that I am a very, very big fan on, headlamps. All right. <clears throat> I think if you bought your loved one, man, woman, child, they make them for all three. A headlamp is, in my opinion, there is nothing better than a headlamp beats any flashlight hands down because when you put this thing on this one here is 1100 lumens and the battery will last uh, five six hours at least it takes you about um, an hour and a half to two hours to charge it if you let it go completely dead it has the strobe it has bright it has the low beam and then it has the adjustable where you can take and you can zoom in zoom out and it's just so nice to be hands-free if you're, say, walking through the woods at nighttime, if you're looking for something, anything like that, if you're working on, you broke down, you're working on your car, something like that, a headlamp is the way to go. Now let's get into a little bit of, you know, backpacking, maybe survivalist, camping, hiking, that type of stuff, you know, a little portable rack that you can put over to a, a nice little fire. These things are really cheap. You can pick them up just about anywhere. Um, but this is really nice if you just want to have uh, to cook on over a nice small flame because obviously you don't want to cook over a huge flame. So this would be really good to have like an offset fire from your major fire if you do it have out in the woods somewhere. And this way you can cook and everything else and then it folds right back up and slides right inside your backpack and you're good to go. All right. Now this one here is called a Wheelers. Now this is a little... Uh, would like to say advanced setup. Now as you can see in here this all folds right up in here. It's in this really nice case. It's a waterproof case. Fits right inside your backpack and everything else and you have your two different types of tongs, a spatula, a soup ladle. You have scissors for cutting meats and stuff like that. It comes with a cutting board, a knife, and a bottle opener and a plastic little spatula. It all folds up right inside this nice little carrying case and I think that this would be a great addition to your really advanced hikers. This would be like a bringing a little bit of home out into the woods. Now moving on down the line. We got more. Don't go anywhere people. Quick little battery backups. All right. You can pick these things up. They're really not expensive. You have to figure out which ones you would like and everything else. Like I said in some of my videos. This small one here is a single charge. This big one here is a double charge for like cell phones, flashlights, and etc. Okay, this one is solar. This one you have to charge with either the wall outlet or solar. Okay, so either way you can go. Plus this one has a light on the back if you needed a light for something. They're great ideas, relatively inexpensive. And if you order now, you probably could get a lot of this still before Christmas, but don't wait too much longer. Staying with the solar. This here is a RAV Power, all right? It's a 30 watt charger, opens right up, pulls right down, boom, comes with the carabiner, so you can strap it right to the back of the backpack, and this way here, they can be charging some of their items, their cell phone, their battery backups, anything else, while they are walking down through the woods, down the trail, Hanging out in camp, you just hang it up over on a tree. Been there, done that. And this thing will charge and it works very, very well. Comes with all the adapters and everything that are listed right inside. There's three USB adapters. This would make a great Christmas present for under 50 bucks. Now, for all you preppers and everything out there, if you're looking for some way, you probably store batteries and everything else. You probably have a drawer. 
It's probably full of batteries. You don't have to have that anymore. You want to make sure that everything is organized. Organization as a prepper is a big thing. So you buy one of these lovely little cases right here. They do have them in different sizes and they will carry more batteries than everything else, but they do get heavy. But this here, you can store your batteries right in here. And it does come with a little tester here that will test out any battery that you do have and tell you if it's good or not. And these little cases right here, I think are like 10 bucks. Of course, the batteries are gonna set you back a lot more if you buy good battery. Preppers. What do we have here? Seeds. Now, seeds are a hot commodity right now and some of the seeds are very expensive. The prices are really going up and it's getting very hard to find a lot of different seeds. If you go onto Amazon, sometimes you can find the seeds and sometimes you can't. Um, they are very limited and if you find them and you have the money, buy them. So I picked this one up. This is a Heirloom 55. It's got just about all kinds of seeds and everything else in here that you can imagine. All right. I do store this in my freezer in this pouch. And this one here, it does help with the long shelf life. This one here comes into the uh, military style ammo holder. And it's 105 varieties. Now I did buy this before the whole Charlie Victor 19 hit. So when I picked this up, I paid $79 for it. Now they're looking at around a hundred bucks. So they did go way up in price. Last time I did see them available on Amazon, but it's great. It's a solid sealed watertight container and all the seeds are right inside. So this is just some great ideas for you all out there to try to get that last minute Christmas gift for somebody that's very active in your family. Rather, like I said, it's, you know, a prepper or a survivalist, camper, hiker, whatever it may be, somebody that loves the outdoors and or just wants to be prepared in case they have to be outdoors. If you get what I'm saying, this may help out. Moving right on down the line. You may want to pick up somebody if they're just starting out, or if you'd like to try to give them a little hint to start out, pick them up some uh, Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers and tell them if they don't know how to use it, tell them to subscribe to my channel. I'll teach them. Now, another great stocking stuffer, and I've, you guys all heard me talk about this, I don't know how many times now, these are the Right in the Rain notebooks. You can get a three pack of these things for under 20 bucks and you can write in the rain in these. They will not, will not distort or anything else. And whatever you write in here will stay nice and fresh even if it does get soaking wet. Like I said in some of my videos, the only way you can destroy this is if you burn it in the fire. Moving down on the road. If you got somebody that travels a lot, <laughs> Or, you know, if you just want to make sure that you do have an emergency kit and just in case of, uh, say, an EMP hit or something like that, you don't know. What are you going to do? Be your cell phone ain't going to work. Your computer's not going to work. Everything in your car, if your car does run, well, more than likely, it ain't going to work as far as your GPS and everything else. So maybe for that prepper or survivalist in your family, you might want to look and pick up a standard road atlas. This way here, no matter where you live in this country, you have a map of the area and you know your way around and can get out of harm's way just in case you don't have service on your phone. There's more. We're almost done. Now this here is a portable small little fishing kit. It all folds down, breaks down, right inside this nice little bag and it does you throw a carabiner on here and it hooks right to the outside of the backpack it's a beautiful thing but as you can see if you look inside here it's a fishing pole and everything else and then i put all my own gear in here i put an extra reel in just in case because you never know what could happen out there and if you're out and it's a survival type situation well better to have more than one because you could always get a stick Strap it to that and have somebody else fishing too. If you need food, you need fishing kit. At least some string and a hook. Now, <clears throat> I did a video on this. If you got an avid, avid fisher 
and he likes to go out fishing and everything else. And sometimes he'll, you know, he's gonna he's got to hike back into the woods to get to the places he wants to go. Well, this right here is what you need to get him. All right, or her. Let's all be fair here. All right, this thing here is great. This is a basically a tackle box, but only as you can see, it doesn't look like your standard tackle box. But everything fits right in here. This is your complete setup. You can strap this straight to a backpack. It does come with the straps. You can carry it right over your shoulder and everything else. And as you can see, I have some flies and stuff up there. And then if you take and you pull out these little the, the uh, slides, as you can see in here, I've got hooks, I've got plastic worms. I've got all kinds of stuff. This thing is fully loaded and everything else. And I can take this just about anywhere that I want to go. Now, yes, I do have my big tackle box. Like if you're going to go and get in a boat or something like that, yeah, that's great. But if you're going to hike back off in the woods to get to that nice secret spot that nobody knows about, this is the way to go. Now, we're almost getting there. We've got two things left. Now, if you really want to bump it up a little bit and you got a little bit of extra money and you're a prepper, or a survivalist or something like that. <clears throat> I don't know if you'd want to carry this too far back off in the woods because uh, it does have a little bit of weight to it. But if you wanted, this is a Rock Pile 300. It's a 300 watt portable battery generator. I love this thing. I've used it several times. It does charge just about anything. You have a plug, you have all your USB ports. It's got your DC right here, two lights in the front, everything else. You can charge it with a solar kit i have a 100 watt solar panel that i would plug into this right here and i can charge this thing up anywhere i go you can also plug it in and charge it right in the wall but this would be something that's really nice amazon did have these on sale a few weeks ago i don't know if they still are but you could go on and check them out but this is one of my favorites that i have that i could afford to buy and it's nice just to have that backup now one other thing if you got that man and woman in your life and they are preppers and they like prepping up their own, putting away fresh food instead of cans and everything else, you might want to think about hooking them up with a dehydrator. Now, you can get these in all different shapes, sizes, and price ranges. But the idea is if you get them something to start out with, or maybe they're just looking to start, this would be a great little investment. And this way here, they can do their fruits and vegetables and anything they want to dehydrate, meats, and they can make their own jerky. Sky's the limit here. It's whatever they want to do. But this would get somebody interested in dehydration and prepping fresh fruits, vegetables, and meat. The dehydrator, would be a great Christmas present for somebody out there. So that has been this video for December 13th, 2020. And I do appreciate everybody tuning in. And I just wanted to do a video on some quick little things. That if you go online right now, I'd make sure that you get your orders in by Tuesday because that's when they're gonna start saying, ah, you may get it, ah, you may not. So. If you want Santa Claus to get you something and you want to get it, make sure you get it delivered, make sure you order. Get online, do a little research. You can find a lot of these little things right here. Very inexpensive. I'd say 95% of all this stuff is all under $50. Some of them will be great stocking stuffers for that loved one in your family. So until next Sunday, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Hope everybody has a good week. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Ho, ho, ho.